Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and so for today, I'm going to show you two special reefers on board and they are called cold treatment and in this video, I'm going to show you the things that we need to consider prior to the loading of these containers what are the things that you need to check what are the temperatures or data that you need to record and the safety precaution and the proper handling of this kind of reefers we are currently here in Shanghai we are at the anchorage, so there are a lot of vessel in there. See this vessel? This is Merce Essen. So, Rose just joined that vessel, which is the Merce Essen, and she is there. Unfortunately, we are still not allowed to go ashore, and I think our schedule fits the schedule of the vessel. But because of pandemic now, we cannot actually see each other personally so we just need to wait for another four more months before we can see each other now let's go to the reefers and i'm going to show you all the things that you need to know in this cold treatment so come and join me in this new vlog So this is my morning routine after going to the engine room to get the job order from the second engineer we then need to proceed to the reefer rounds which is our main job on board this is the container which is undergoing cold treatment just a normal container so what is called treatment so the newly harvested fruits they still sometimes have this uh, tropical insects inside or the eggs of the insects and if they actually loaded into the container then they might spread inside and by the time that this container or this cargo which has this insects and open to the destination port then those insects might spread from that destination port which is actually illegal or it's not it damaged the ecosystem of that country or that port of destination because of this we need to treat the cargo inside for some shippers they use insecticides or fumigations which is not actually good for the freshness of the fruits and then that's why other country imposes a ruling that, that that is illegal and it is not acceptable to use fumigation or insecticide that's why we have this uh, cold treatment process so the cold treatment process is a special post harvest handling for every perishable commodities to meet the local quarantine requirements. I think it is being imposed by the USA. That's why the name of the probes on each container is USDA, the US Department of Agriculture. So it is a means of insect control by exterminating certain tropical fruit flies. So this is actually achieved by maintaining a sufficiently low temperature and interrupted for a predetermined duration of time. So cold treatment protocol includes the number of probes which are actually pinched onto the cargo. Let's say if it is an apple or grapes or whatever, fruits inside, they really pinch inside to determine the actual temperature of that commodity they were strategically placed inside I think from the front middle and at the back no? so the treatment temperature and the duration of the cold treatment may vary and depending on the different kinds of fruits and depend on the agreement between the country of export and import what do we need to check in the in the container so we actually checking the supply and return and then it has a special, I will face the camera. 
So aside from the supply and return, we also need to check the code 51. This is the duration of the whole treatment process, the program. So normally you will find it here like this is the days and this is the time remaining. So since this is already called done, but that's why it's zero, zero. And then we need to also have a certain temp, uh, vent ventilation for this, which is for this one, it is actually open five. The ventilation is five. And then go to alt mode. And then on the DC, we need to check the three temperatures, which is DC five, DC four, and DC three. These are the USDA temperatures, just like what I have said, it is being imposed by the US, so it is from the US Department of Agriculture. So these three probes are actually strategically placed inside to determine the actual temperature of the cargo, which the probes are being pinched uh, inside the cargo itself. So in this way, because of the cold treatment, um, this eliminates the process of fumigation and the use of certain insecticides which may be illegal in some countries. So we need to monitor the uh, cold treatment process, the program. That's why we used to report this twice a day, so every 12 hours. We need to avoid uh, the unit to be switched off for more than an hour and if something happened then we need to report it immediately to the office especially the controller because failure to uh, finish the program then that this commodity will get hold into the uh, country of destination and then they need to repeat again the program which may delay the delivery of the product and then of course the insurance and all so it is very vital to do proper monitoring onto the container to avoid any delay of the delivery. So I am doing the monitoring from morning and afternoon. So from 800 to 2000. So I am sending the report, all the data that I am taking so that for them to know what is the status of this container. So it's already dark outside and we are sailing and I need to take the COT reading I just came out from the cargo hold that's why I breathed heavily so now we're going to Bay 30 to check one of the COT there So we are now here in Korea and this is the discharging port of these two rivers, the cold treatment and as you can see they are still plugged and we are still waiting for the crane to be on top of them before we will disconnect them because they are not allowed to be switched off for a long period of time. So special rivers are discharged 
and i hope you learned something from this video and thank you for all your support and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button hit likes and bell button and comments on whatever videos you want me to cover and thank you and see you on my next vlog